All right, guys. Um, this is going to be a part one of a part three series video, possibly four series uh, series video um, of the creation of the character Boog from the movie Open Season. Uh, he's a bear who was domesticated, who was released into the wild. If you haven't seen the movie, it's a cute story. Um, so this is what Boog happens to look like. So we're going to go through and build him from a single cube uh, to uh, get this lovely character. Alright, so here in a new scene, I'm going to go ahead and make my project. So I'm going to do a file, project new. I'm going to change this. I'm going to call it Boog, B-O-O-G, uh, just because that's the name of this practice character. You can call it whatever you want for your practice character. Uh, for location, you want to make sure that you browse and find your H drive to be saving to. You don't want to save anywhere else. You do want to make sure that you hit use defaults. You saw that there was a lot of textures and colors attached to him. We want to make sure that we have all that so that our textures are saved correctly, so that all of our texture files for Boog are saved um, in the right folder so that we can actually see the textures that we are creating. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit accept. He's just a practice for me. Um, I'm not going to save this. Okay, so believe it or not, I'm going to go ahead and draw a cube Okay, I'm going to draw a much better cube. I'm going to draw a cube here uh, on my grid. I'm going to hit 5 to smooth shade it and drag it up. That right there is going to be Boog, believe it or not. He is one solid cube. That's all he is. Uh, I am going to scale this so that it's a little bit nicer of a cube, but that that's it. That's, that's Boog. Uh, I am going to go ahead real quick, and I went to my side view. I'm going to hold down my X key, and I'm going to make sure that this is pretty much smack dab uh, around the origin, around my X and Y axes. Uh, later on, if I need to, I may um, want to delete half of him and bring it back. In order to do that, I need to make sure that uh, he is being built straight up and down that Y axis. I do actually want him, this cube, to be divided in two. So here under polycube one, I'm going to change my width to be two so that I have two faces along um, my cube instead of one. And uh, you'll see why here in just a moment. OK. Now for the fun part. We're going to go ahead and get into face mode. I'm going to select the top two faces of the character to extrude out. So I've got my little shortcut pictures here so that we can kind of see what Boog is. So this piece here that we just did is about this fat piece right here where most of his weight is. So I'm going to want about three extrusions to kind of get up to his neck. All right, so I'm going to choose Edit Mesh Extrude. Uh, you do want to make sure that this is checked where it says Keep Faces Together. Uh, I'll explain when I get to his legs as to why this is important. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this up. I am going to scale it in a little bit because most of his weight is down here around that uh, thick part of his middle. I'm going to do that same exact step again, and it mesh extrude. I'm going to scale it in in both the X and Z direction. So I kind of have this little top effect going on. Uh, if you're not happy with an extrusion, you can always go into your edges uh, to uh, scale it in a little bit. Just a little bit. To kind of get more of that shape that you're a little after. Uh, worst case scenario, if you still can't get it, you can always go and choose your vertices and move them into location to do a little bit of fine tweaking. We're going to be practicing quite a bit with the fine tweaking during this project. I'm actually going to pull these in just a little bit because he's a little bit moved forward. So once you're kind of happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and get these top faces up here again. And uh, we're going to go ahead and work on his neck. So he, he kind of has like the same shape from shoulders to neck. If we look over here on the side, you can see it's it's a very long type neck. We're actually going to do three extrusions to get this. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this first extrusion, and we're going to be rotating a little bit. This next one, we're going to rotate a lot. And then this very last one will kind of be the tip of his nose. 
I'm going to get my top faces up here again. I'm going to do an edit mesh extrude. I am going to go ahead and pull it up. I'm going to rotate and probably pull it up. You see I'm kind of doing like small little steps to kind of get it the way I need it to be. Let's check it from my other views to make sure I've got it the way I want it. I am going to go ahead and scale it in a little bit, but just a little bit because his neck is pretty much the same as his, as his width. So you kind of want about this kind of an angle. You could make it a little more, it's fine. I'm going to do that next step and another edit mesh extrude. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up and rotate it so it's pretty much almost flat straight up and down. Whoops. I am going to go ahead and scale it down some. Move it probably just a little bit down. And I'm going to do one more extrusion, pulling this one out, and it's going to be shrinking a lot because this is going to be for the very, very tip of his nose. So I have about this kind of curve shaped going because if you look, that's pretty close. It comes up and curves and goes almost straight. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get down to his legs. Um, if you kind of want to see as you're building how he's going to look when you do eventually smooth him out, um, one is a shortcut on your keyboard to see the box. Two will show you both. So we can kind of see that we kind of have this smooth shape that we want. We've got most of his weight down here. Um, you can tweak this. However, if you do, you want to make sure you're only tweaking this boxy version of him because that smooth one inside, it doesn't really exist. It's more just to kind of show you a, this is what it could look like. Um, three is only smooth. Do not ever touch this one. And one will take you right back to your boxy. So if you want to check to see how yours is going to look, uh, I recommend doing that. Okay, so I'm going to grab these two faces um, down at the bottom of his legs. Now, part of the reason I just showed that step to you is if you look, He's pretty much a solid object. There's no weird line running through him. He doesn't have two heads growing out of him. But when we're going to go through to extrude his feet, we do want it to be two separate objects. So this time, when I got to Edit Mesh, I am going to uncheck where it says Keep Faces Together. So now when I do an Edit Mesh Extrusion, and I drag down, if you look, his legs are very short. When I scale them, and you have to use that extrusion scale to do this step, I have two complete separate objects for his legs. They are not connected. Keep faces together when you extrude multiple objects, keeps it as a solid object. If you uncheck that, it becomes separate things. If you happen to have a character that's got two heads spurting off its shoulders, you would uncheck that to be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get his legs about where I want them. Scale them this way. So I have the rough shape I'm after. This next extrusion is kind of a tricky one, just like his uh, shoulders were. I'm going to drag it down and rotate to kind of get it about so, because this is kind of his ankle. And then I'm going to do an edit mesh extrude to pull this down for his feet. Believe it or not, this is the top of his toes. So we're going to be pulling. Oops. Undo. We're pulling and rotating and dragging up and out to kind of get his feet in a good location. And then I'm just going to cheat and grab my vertices right here, drag them back down into the good shape that I kind of like. Get those faces back. I may scale them. Oops. Scale them just a little bit. I should have done that before I tweaked it. 
So I have this rough kind of shape. Now, here's something I tell my class a lot. I have built Boog so many times that I honestly can almost build him in my sleep. You're not going to be as fast as I am. You just haven't built him nearly as many times as I have. Don't panic. You'll be fine. You can pause and stop the video as you need to. It is seriously fine. Doing this with my class, this right here, we're almost at the uh, hour mark. All right, so we do want to go ahead and block out his basic arm shape. So if you kind of look, he's got his arms. They do model somewhat forward. You can model them that way if you want to. Um, but they're, they're a very distinct type bear shape. They're pretty thick, and they go thin very quickly. So his, this right here is our neck. This right here is our shoulder. So I'm going to pull this and this to extrude out his arms. So I'm going to pull these out. Now the funny part with this is if you pull one down, the other goes up. You may have to, uh, oops, go back and select your faces and then move them down to get the shape that you're kind of after. So go through and kind of tweak them. And then we'll do another extrusion. Yeah, I didn't mean for it to be quite that bad. Sorry, guys. Make sure when you're undoing that you undo all the way with your extrusion. Like I just did, I undid, but I didn't undo my extrusion. That could have been a bad thing if I had not known that I still had this extrusion going on there. Okay, so this is driving me nuts. I'm going to take a second to kind of tweak up my vertices a little bit. Eventually, we will delete half of Boog, so if you got one side that just looks so much better than the other, you'll be just fine. Don't worry about it. Like I do. Okay, so we're going to take these faces yet again, and we're going to extrude one last quick time. Kind of get that uh, front shape going on. Now I'm going to tell you guys right now that I will probably be cleaning up my bear a little bit here in a little bit, um, but uh, just kind of be aware of that. So I kind of have my bear with my his arm shapes. Because you look, his arms are rather long; they're a little disproportioned to him. All right, I've got one more thing I want to do, and then we're going to go ahead and end part one. Right here, if we look from our side view, Boog actually has a tail. So if I go through and I spend some time tweaking and pulling out some vertices, which I'm going to do right now real quick for this one, you can see I've got where the tail could go, but I don't have the basic um, spot where the tail should be. So I wanted to take some time to go through and, um, and pull some of these vertices out to kind of start shaping him a little bit before I put that tail in. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some of his stomach out to kind of get that shape going on. So he's a little fatter. Uh, I probably want to grab both of these and scale them to make them a little wider. So I'm just going to take a, just a second or two to, to um, 
do a little scaling to make them look a little bit better. Now, this vertice right here on his bum, um, we are going to actually use this to create a tail. Now, it, it kind of sucks right now because we only have this one vertice. Um, it's not going to be possible for us to get a six-sided tail out of that. The cool thing is, is that um, Maya actually has uh, a, a tool that will do that for you, and it's called um, Chamfer Vertex. And I'm sure I'm mispronouncing how it's called, but um, that's what that tool is. So if I come up here with that vertice selected, and I come up here to Edit Mesh, and I choose Chamfer Vertex, you can see that it has split these uh, in six, actually. It split Hick and one, and it it six, so that I now have a much nicer shape to build a tail. Now, if you kind of look, I've got a vertice here, 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 and I've got one that seems to be going up inside him. I'm going to have to hit four on my keyboard to go through and find this little rogue vertice to kind of get it in the shape that I need it to be. So I'm going to take just a second here to kind of reshape these to be more in like a hexagon pattern. One thing I'm not going to do is this vertice and this vertice are perfectly aligned. I am not going to do anything to mess up this line I kind of have going on through my character because I want this solid line. I don't want to mess that up. Okay, so now that I kind of have these more arranged, I have a face right here that I can extrude. So I'm going to do one small extrusion. Uh, the reason why with this is because when you put your joints in to actually make your character move, um, it attaches to these vertices and these edges. If you don't have an edge, it won't move. We want to be able to wag his tail almost. Um, and if I don't have this small extrusion to separate that from his body, it would be a super exaggerated butt wag of a dog. Like his, his whole rear end would wind up moving instead of being able to just kind of wag his tail. So this first extrusion is going to be very small. I am going to go ahead and scale it down a little bit. The next extrusion is going to be the final one for his tail. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out, scale it down to get more of like a bear tail going on. So just take a little bit of time tweaking up some of your vertices, and I will catch you once I get part two recorded.